Boston Celtics. White and Brown are the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And for Portland, we've got Walker. Jeremy Grant out there with DeAndre Ayton. Then it's Matisse Thibel. And it's Simons in at the one. A lot of power on display in the front court tonight in our matchup. Brent should be exciting to watch. Yeah, it may not be about the outside shooting in this one either. These teams like to involve that front court and catch the defense while they're napping. Grant against Tatum. Outside Holiday. Pass to Porzingis. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. How about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team first player. Love that from the guard position. Here's Aiton. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Outside White. Pass to Porzingis. The kick to Tatum. Stolen by Aiton. Simons with it. Averaging almost 23 points a contest. A fantastic offensive player. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. Well, for so long, we've heard calls from the Blazers to trade Damian Lillard and start over. Grant, that day has come. It has, B.A., but it's hard for a small market team like Portland to give up a superstar. I mean, they're just not easy to get. The task now is finding their next franchise player, and with this young talent, they have a chance. And that one falls for Simons. When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about it, B.A. To have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other, that's a potent combination. And what a luxury for Boston. They complement each other so well. And so Simons nails both of them. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A. Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. Now here's Simon. We saw him with 29 points in his last game. Walker for three. On target from range. Great decision by Simons. He's got the reputation of a score-first guard. He can dish it. First minute and a half of basketball play here in this one. Holiday with the ball. Picked up by Grant. And the basket by Holiday. Well, that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Bible passes to Simons. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. Circus is in town with that shot from Simon. For Boston, they've gone two of three from the floor. Brown, no good. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Now here's Simons. Over to the left wing. Shot clock at six. Here's Grant. Shakes off strong. D and gets to the bucket for two points. Yeah, Grant not flustered with that. Staying with it around the basket. Ignores the defense and scores. Holiday passes to White. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Count it. Woo. Just selling the defense on the pump fake. And it's Simons with the ball for the Portland Trailblazers. It's a three-point game. From 13. Offensive rebound. It's good. Aiden can get in that kind of position. He can be a bully on the inside. For Boston, they've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Holiday passes to Brown. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Top of the key. 
Rebound by the Trailblazers. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. And the growth of Jeremy Grant since he came into the league, Grant, is pretty remarkable. Pretty good for a former second round pick, an athletic guy that fell under the title of a, a project player, but in Detroit took a larger role on. And I think being able to produce at that level, BA, has given him the confidence to continue to grow in this game. Now here's Brown. Yet to see a basket. Two minutes remaining in the first. Here's Stiebel. Two minutes. And he parries his first one. Bad idea leaving him open. He needs Boston more defensive attention, not less. And the Celtics call time here. Heading towards the end of the season, Brent. How are you feeling about this year's play in turn? Super excited about the NBA. I mean, you think about the NBA at the highest level where it's win and you stay in the game. games. That's the kind of stuff that the league and its fans have been craving for years. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Tillman's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Al Horford comes in for Tatum. Hauser, he's checked in for Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Holiday. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. With the playoffs around the bend, here are the Western standings. You look at the Trailblazers, and after a subpar season, there have been some questions about the direction of this franchise. When I look at Portland, as we see them limp towards the finish line, you really have to believe that everyone is going to be evaluated from top to bottom. And you have to wonder just how different this team will look next season, from players to possibly coaches, maybe every level of the organization. <laughs> and the defense has been stifling early on. Outside Murray. We've got 113 left in the first quarter. Here's Henderson. Orford pulls it in. Boston trailing. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And Pritchard, here we go. Another miss. Boy, they're in a funk right now. Up top, Tybel. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Henderson outside. Boston with a rebound. This is the first time they've seen Portland this season. <laughs> they dominated this team last season. Big difference in talent level. Count it. Good. Sam Hauser. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now Henderson. He's scoreless. Five on the clock. No good with a layup. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just that's gets the out there and the the score. And that's just enough. And we reach the end of the first 13. quarter. It's the Trailblazers leading by five. We've got more in store for you right after this. Okay. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And what stands out to you from the Trailblazers in this one? They're just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. Now here's Simons. On the court for the Celtics. Second quarter underway. Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. The star wing pair. It's Brown and Tatum outside. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Simons. Simons has got six. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Pass to Tatum. Takes a three. Jason Tatum. Jason He's Tatum. a sharpshooter. Great rhythm to that shot. Tatum right off the pass. And Grant, this season, the Blazers adding a G League affiliate in North Portland. The NBA, I mean, the second to last team to do it. And the Suns next season will make it 30 for 30. Now there's a G League counterpart operating under each of the league's teams. Four on the clock. 
The offensive rebound. And it's Tatum with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by four. The rebound by Murray. The Trailblazers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Simons. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Give him eight points now. Defenders want to get physical with Simons to try to offset some of his athleticism. Uh, it doesn't always work. Outside Holiday. Here's Horford. Hey, great D that time from Grant. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment for on the layup. Well, the Blazers have boosted some high-powered offenses in recent years. Well, their success is always centered around what they've done on the offensive end, B.A., but now they've lost a little bit of that potency, and they've got to get back to more balance so that they can be competitive on a nightly basis. Makes a first. Well, Grant, you were in the playoffs several times during your career. The postseason's just different from the regular season. It's 100% another level. I'll never forget my first series, 1996 against the great Shaquille O'Neal and Penny Hardaway of the Orlando Magic. Of course, yeah, my Pistons got swept. That was quite an introduction to the playoffs. Hayden hits them both. And the big fellow with the skill level, showing a soft touch at the line. And here's Tatum, 15 in his last outing. Outside, Brown. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. The kick out to Walker. Back to Grant. Puts up a three. Portland again missing. Boston's gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. the wing holiday making a mark on the offensive end scoring around 13 a game and that one's good or Zingas. he's capable of draining shots in bunches and that time he does it from the mid-range all right let's check in with Ali LaForce well the incredible athleticism of Scoot Henderson has drawn comparison to players like Westbrook Wall and Rose Scoot said quote no I don't want to try to follow up anybody I want to have my own career where people compare to me but those are some great players some great guards and leaders but I just want to make my own path BA yeah and that's where you have to be mentally thanks Allie there's Tatum with the three it's rebounded by Grant Portland has gone over two from outside in the second quarter Simons against Holiday. The kick out to Walker. Let's it go from deep. Holiday grabs the miss. The Celtics have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Man, you watch Drew Holiday, Brent. This guy is so tough, physically and mentally. NBA, there's a lot of guys in the league that we say are underrated, but the secret is out on Drew Holiday, especially after the way he played in the NBA Finals. This guy is the best defensive perimeter player on the floor, unselfish, and what a great backcourt partner. And it's the Blazers with the ball. After the basket by Boston, they get it back. Walker passes to Henderson. Grant, left side. Second chance shot. And off the glass. That looks good. Grant's got his second basket. Well, when he gets into the paint, he starts to get hungry. He goes right through the defense. He's a straight line guy. Boston calls timeout. They're coming off that loss against Denver. Hey, they had their chances, but they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. You cannot afford to do that. When you're in the building, you got to knock down free throws. That cost them. A big group substitution here for Boston. Tillman's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Hauser comes in for Horford. White, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Now here's White. He's been contributing over 15 a game. Back to Pritchard. Outside Tatum. Let's the three fly. And it's Portland with a rebound. Ooh, love the intensity with they're hitting the boards. 
Here's Walker. Laid it in with a nice oh, touch off the window. Walker. And now it's a 10-point Portland lead. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Pritchard. This one for three. He buries it from three. And when he was younger, Tatum would often try to do it all himself. But now he wants to keep everybody involved. Right side, Dybul. Can't get it to fall. The Celtics have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Here's Pritchard, covered by Thibel. Back to Pritchard. Walker against White. Right side, Tatum. Walker pulls down the board. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. It seems really frustrating. Tries from six feet. Tries again. And the layup is good. And you have to appreciate the heart they've shown on the offensive boards this quarter. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Right wing. Pass to Hauser. Outside White. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Pritchard gets it to go. Pritchard, three. Just four seconds left in the half. The deep three. No good. Misses at the buzzer. The and so the it's the Portland Trailblazers with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. More 2K action in just a moment. And your Trailblazers, you stand, Steve. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. The first quarter for the Trailblazers was fairly even. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. Taking a look at the Trailblazers, Kenny, what was your impression? They found a slight edge on the boards, and they've done it with nothing but raw determination. I mean, look, they've got talent. But the passion is there, and that separates these guys. They simply refuse to give up possession. And over to Shaq now, your take on the Celtics. I think they let the game come to them, but they haven't got to the foul line enough. That's the area where they're getting beat. I like to see them press the action a little bit more. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? In that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. You look at Anthony Simons. He's been playing really well. He's been on the attack, playing hard and going right to the rim. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. They've got DeAndre Ayton, Matisse Thibel out there with Anthony Simons. Then it's Jeremy Grant, and it's Walker in at the small forward position. That's the group starting the second half for Chauncey Billups. Now here's Brown. Still no points. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's on Anthony Simons. What makes Brown special team, is his blend of smarts and effort level. Not just an intelligent player, but also gives you a phenomenal amount of energy out there. First one falls for him. throws good for Brown. Portland leading. Pass 
to Simons. Back to Walker. The three. The rebound, Celtics. And here's Brown. From 15 feet away. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got four assists in the game. A superb mid-range shooter. All Brown needs is some separation, and he's ready to pull up. Now here's Simons. Give him eight points now. Walker controls the rebound and the putback. And the Trailblazers lead by four. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Fires it. Tatum can't hit. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Now here's Thibel. And here's Simons outside. The shot misses. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. Here's Tatum. Outside Holiday. Five to shoot. From the strike. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got four rebounds now. There's Simons with a three. Sinks it from distance. And now it's a seven point Trailblazer lead. Well, the defense very attentive to him in the first quarter, but he's finally gotten loose in the second and making them pay. Outside White. Oh, through contact. White gets the pass. He's really become a better all-around player. Brown's passing continues to evolve. Nice find. Time called here. The Trailblazers decide to talk it over. Well, if you want to talk about Derek White for a moment. He's become such an effective defender, Greg. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. Murray comes in for Walker, and it's Henderson in for Simon. Now Horford's checked in for Boston. Henderson outside. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. And Porzingis with the block. Aiden. Holiday grabs the miss. Holiday's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Porzingis. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Grant's got four rebounds now. Henderson scanning the floor. Grant outside. Oh, Grant throws it down. Man, Jeremy Grant is one of those guys that's capable of highlight dunks on a nightly basis. That time, vicious finish. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Portland Taking foul. a look at some numbers here for Jeremy Grant. First personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Boston, Jalen Brown taking two shots. off. Tillman's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for White. And the 
second free throw is good. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Shots good by Henderson. Henderson's got his second bucket. Now, I don't know if you would consider this, but he's got such a nice touch around the rim. Maybe you foul him there? Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. The Celtics have Ooh, terrific oh, depth. They have a number of reserves who could start for other teams. All-star Jason Two Tatum said those guys sacrificing coming Two off the minutes. bench. I think that just speaks volumes to the commitment that we have to be our best and to playing to our standard every night. Brian? That's what it takes, Allie, right? Thank you. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Here's Pritchard, defended by Henderson. Pass to Horford. And here's Brown for three. And the Celtics have another three. Really three as good as any passing big that we have in the NBA. Horford is a guy who can run an offense as a big. Bible passes to Murray. Second chance effort. Called in by Brown. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Here's Pritchard. Six points for him for the tie. Second shot opportunity, and the Two layup is up and in. And now just a one-point trailblazer lead. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Oh, and again, unable to change momentum here. And here's Brown for three. And it's Portland with a rebound. There's 31 seconds left in the third. Pass to Henderson. Here's Kamari. Warford covering. On the take. Kamari, no good. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston out of will have another go. Boston ball. Substitution on the court. And Boston has possession. It's a one-point game. Here's Tatum. It's Tatum Jason working Tatum. inside. The defense has to try to limit Tatum's impact on the low block. I mean, he's a dangerous player there on the inside. It's been all about Jalen Brown for the Boston Celtics. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. On the court right now for the Celtics. Derek White out there with Peyton Pritchard. Then it's Kristaps Porzingis. Then there's Jason Tatum. And it's Hauser in at the three. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Simons right side. Pass to Aiden. Now Henderson, just five to shoot. Launches a three. Porzingis grabs the board. The Celtics with the lead. Here's White. White coming through. Derek White. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. And it's Simons with the ball for the Portland Trailblazers. Right side. Shot is up. 
For Boston, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Tatum against Grant. Pass to Pritchard. Tatum with it. Outside for Zingas. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Pritchard. Offensive board. Porzingis plays the size to work. Gets talked about a lot, but when Porzingis is active as that big of a body, it really helps out when he's doing the dirty work. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Kamari, no good. Stolen by Aiton. Another shot. Kamari, that's good. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. And Boston calls time here. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Their fit tonight with a free t-shirt. Walker, he's checked in for Portland. Thibel comes in for Henderson. Orford, he's checked in for Boston. Holiday comes in for Pritchard. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. During that last break, I heard Joe Mazzula as he talked with the team. Coach was urging his team to play strong defense, reminding them no easy hoops. Give effort and help when needed. They do say defense wins championships. Guys. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Here's Simons. Tatum pulls it in. The Celtics have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Looking to end this cold spell. Too easy for Tatum, even with the contact. Off contact, but just a beautiful shot by Tatum. He's added so much strength through the years. Holiday against Simons. Rebounded by the Celtics. Holiday's got six rebounds in the game. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Here's White. Soft touch off the glass. And now it's a nine-point Celtic lead. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Simons against Holiday. Little turnaround. Here's Aiton. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got a rebound number five here tonight. And it's Tatum missing. White with the steal. Tatum inside. Walker covering. And it's Tatum Two missing. In the, game. the Trailblazers Two shooting at about 34% here in this game. Pass to Simons. There's the three. Sends it home from three-point land. Toughest three on the floor. No biggie for Simons. And Boston Something calls time here. Timeout. They lead by six. 152 and left in the final quarter. With your Blazer Dancer. Let's take Something a moment to present the new balance player of the game. Wow. Drew Holiday. And it's easy to see why they keep getting it to him. He keeps getting after it on the offensive end, putting in that work. He's been getting good looks and shooting the ball efficiently all night. The Celtics making a switch here. Brown's checked in. I have to admire how Al Horford does an outstanding job there of finding his guys wide open for shots. Holiday against Simon. Trail Blazers foul. Anthony Simon. Second personal foul. The Celtics have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Brown against Walker. Brown gets the inside finish. Brown taking on all challengers. This kind of fearless approach is what his teammates and coaches love seeing. There's Simons with a three. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got six rebounds in the game. Outside Walker. Pass to Aiden. On the wing, Simons. And stolen by Holiday. And the clock will wind down on this one. 
Just a solid effort and a good win for the Celtics. And at first glance, it appeared to be an easy win for them. However, they had to weather some storms along the way, Greg. Yeah, in terms of competitiveness, it was a lot closer than the final score indicated. This game pushes them to 49 wins. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Drew Holiday. It felt like there was more than one of them out there tonight. He was involved on every possession, and he made his presence felt in so many ways. Grant, you had an incredible career. Two-time college champ, seven-time All-Star. But tell me where owner ranks in your career resume. You know, B.A., it's very fascinating. The, the main reason I wanted to open the door for other ex-players to get equity in teams. I do believe ownership groups should involve ex-players and listen to us. You know, and I think that is where the league is ultimately heading. White on the wing. Pass to Horford. Now Brown. Holiday looking for an opening. For three, Porzingis. And Aiden pulls it down. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Nice shot by Walker. Here's White. They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A. They deserve the win. See the Celtics get the win here. And they have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud.